What's up guys? What's going on? Today, it's a beautiful day out in southern Florida. It is pretty hot, but it's decently windy, so it's not as bad. But today we're gonna be searching for the elusive crawfish, the insane crawfish that will eat minnows and stuff if they could catch them. But we're gonna have to get some minnows too. Gonna put some in my tank, my fish I haven't eaten in like a day. Usually feed them twice a day, but I've only been feeding them once a day. So let's get at it. Let's get at this adventure of catching these nasty crawfish. We're gonna check this rock over here first. See if there's any in here. Is there any in there? There's a lizard. What's going on, guy? Oh. I don't wanna crush it. Oh, shoot. What in the world? Look at that frog. Look at this frog. Oh. Oh, jeez. All right, well, he doesn't want to be caught. Now let's check underneath this one. Ugh. Oh, there's a nasty crawfish right there. There he is. I think there's two in there. Look at that guy right there. There's a lizard again. What are you doing? Oh. I don't think he wants to be caught. I'm gonna use this stick to have him claw onto it and then take him out. We're bringing these guys home to feed my Paku. There's one right there. Look at him. Look at that nasty creature right there. All right, that's number one. We're gonna go set him in the bucket. Look at this thing. Oh, they're pretty gross. We're gonna plop this first one in here. Now we're gonna go get the other one from the same hole. I think there was two in there. This is a smaller one right here. We're gonna take him out. There it is, there's a smaller one right there. Micro little guy. All right, we're gonna bring this one back over here too. Plop him right in the bucket, or small cooler. There's the crawfish. Now look at these minnows. They are feeding on a seed. Right there, they're feeding on a seed in the middle of the lake, right there. Well, not the middle, but farther out than what I could reach. You ever need a hand cleaning? You just find a pond with a lot of minnows and stick your hand in there. There's so many just eating on my hand. I could feel them literally taking off like the dead skin or whatever they're taking off. There's so many out today. More than I've ever seen, honestly. We're gonna put these guys in there. We got our few minnows in there to start off the day. We brought the net, but... How couldn't you resist just putting the minnows in your catch with your hands? But let's get back to catching these crawfish. We're gonna check under this little rock right here. Ooh, there we go. There we go, that's a big monster right there. That is a huge one right there. All right, let's grab a stick. Oh, you have no claws. Oh wait, yeah, you do, you have a big one. Just one though. These things are pretty ferocious, as you can tell. Brave wilderness out here. Are we gonna let the crawfish bite me? Come on, buddy. I got your claw. All right, that's a giant right there. Giant crawfish. There's also another one in there, down in the hole. I don't think you guys can see them. 
Here we go, monstrous one. Now it's time to go catch the other crawfish. This one's gonna be tricky because it's farther down the hole. All right, I think we got the camera angle now. We're gonna get this guy out. All right, we got him. Oh shoot, we cracked his shell. All right, he doesn't want to eat the minnow either. So we're gonna have to sacrifice the same minnow to a different one that actually wants to eat it. We're gonna try to catch one out of the bucket and see if he wants to eat it actually. I don't know how many more of these guys we get actually catch. It's gonna be a while before we find another rock by the edge. Let's try to get this minnow to another one of these crawfish that are in here. Let's see if this guy wants to get it. He clawed it. So the search for our crawfish is over. We didn't get any to eat minnows. And now it's time to catch some, uh, catch some minnows. Let's go. Here are the crawfish right here. There's four of them. So it's Jim. Frank, Bob, and Jose. Jose is the smallest one, and uh, that's it. We got the crawfish right here. We're gonna get some new water in here and then grab some minnows and then head back to my house, feed my fish with the minnows, and then throw these crawfish in for the big pack hill. All right, so we got some minnows now. They're in the bucket. We're about to head home, but I wanted to mention something to you guys because I just thought of this. Look how low this thing is now. I don't know if you guys remember or if you guys were subscribers at that time, but go look back at one of my videos. It was so much higher before. It was literally almost up to right here, I believe, and now it's all the way down there. So it just dropped like three or four feet. It would almost be up to my hips. Jeez, that's a far drop. But we're gonna head back home now, and I'll see you guys when I get there with the crawfish and the minnows. We're back home. Let's see, oh, dang. Crawfish almost just got me. All right, maybe that's not a good idea to try to grab them. So we're gonna use the net. Oh, no. Get off. All right, here we go. Packers are chasing it around. Alright, you guys are not gonna be able to see that sadly because the damn water is too uh not not murky, but there's no sun on it, so you can't see anything in there. We're gonna release the rest of the crawfish inside of my pond and then I will do my outro. Right now is the day after we put the crawfish in the pond. We're gonna see if any of them are actually here anymore. Dead minnow right there, surprise the Fish didn't eat that. It probably bit off its head. I think the bluegill like bit off its head or something. Look at that. Whatever. I don't see any. Uh, all I see is my dog in my window right there. There's none on this side over here. There's none in that back corner over there. And I can't even tell if there's any in that corner over there. There's none underneath the wood piece either. You can tell. You'd be able to see it. And I don't know what's wrong with these pack food right now. Lately, they've just seemed a little bit off. Maybe it's the water temperature in the pond. Or maybe they need to be put in the big pond. That's coming soon. You guys already, already know that that's coming soon. I just have to finish up the filter. I wanted to make a video for you guys, but I've been so stuck up with so much stuff. I'm not trying to complain, but it's just, I've had so much stuff to do lately. And soon we're gonna be able to get the big filter in the big pond. And then the big pond's gonna be all done. And we're gonna be able to put these fish in whiskey. Really? Really? You think that's funny or something? Yeah, get out of my room. But we're gonna be able to put the big fish inside of the big pond soon. And these packers will be out of here. The fish in my tank will be able to finally be able to come in this little pond right here. I actually did the dimensions. It's actually a little bit over two foot tall. It's 
a little bit over four foot long right there and then a little bit over three feet wide and it comes out to 200 gallons in this little tiny pond right here some is going to be going down right here you guys probably already know but something sick is going to be going down there it looks a little bit better with some life around it i have to get this all cleaned up and then we're ready to go with this pond that's going to be going in right here with the big waterfall after we finish the big pond over there and the big filter and yes we did take down the little pond because i'm using that tarp for over here and there's actually no point of having this right here when i'm going to be having a nicer pond right there it's time to send the outro thank you guys for coming along with me you guys have been wonderful i'm luke dombrowski if you guys have not already go hit the subscribe button down below and drop a fat thumbs up and i will catch you guys later